Okay. We're back. Sorry, I had to take a... I had to run to the bathroom. But yeah, I'm back. We're gonna see if the... Having the... If having the hood on... Makes it a little bit more tolerable, less cold. Uh, I don't know how much longer, how much more battery life we have on the camera. But, uh, yeah. We're, we're, we're chilling. We're, we're continuing. It's a great day outside. Uh, great day. Continue on our conversation. Yeah, guys, I am. I'm really struggling. You know, it's not like it's not like I haven't been trying to to get my life together. You know, there's just I just I, I have no no stability, no stability, no support. I feel like I've exhausted all the support that I can realistically expect from anyone in a, in, in a nor under normal circumstances, right? But my, my circumstances are not normal. And that's where my issues come, come in. You know, like, everybody thinks that you should live your life, you know, like everybody else, you know? just like everybody else, right? Like, you should go to school, you should, you know, go to school, find a good job, find a wife, or have kids, settle down, or have a, find a husband, whatever, whatever it is for you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, you, you follow the blueprint that everybody else is following, right? And, um, unfortunately, those things just do not work for me. Like, at all. And they have not. Like, I've, I've, all my life I've been trying to work my way away from the norm, basically. Because I knew that I'm not, you know, like, I'm not the most normal person in the world. God, I, and I don't really want to be. I'm glad I'm not. But it doesn't make it any easier. It makes things a lot harder. <laughs> so I think that's what people have to understand is the more unique that you are in this world, the harder things are going to be for you. And that's something that I'm coming to terms with a lot of times. It's like, especially when it comes to like really serious shit like I can't I can't make money I, like normal people do right now <laughs> so I gotta figure you know out what I'm gonna do instead of uh, normal normal people stuff right now um, something that I can build outside of that because I, I really don't know if I can rely reliably um, keep a nine to five position until my bodily, like physical health situation is is resolved. And I don't know if that's going to happen or not. At this point, uh, you know, so much damage has been done that I don't know if I can recover fully. <laughs> Definitely, probably not fully. But um, you know, who knows what you can accomplish with, you know just the right amount of effort, I just, I am not in the right headspace to, and I really, I mean like, you know, just my, circ my circumstances right now are not putting me in the right mindset, you know, into a growth mindset, right? They're just not. And, um, Finding the confidence to sit in front of a camera, you know, in a backyard, which is supposed to be more private, right? Like, who knows who's watching me sit, you know, and laughing at me right now 
you know, in the house that can see into my backyard, into this backyard here, but, you know, who knows what's going on, and I don't really care. And, but that's something that I've always struggled with my, my whole life, and that's something that I'm really, I want to work on. You know, I don't want to feel so self-conscious all the time about what other people might be thinking about me and saying about me and, and like, ex you know, so I just want to get over it because I know people are talking crap all the time. I know that they are. That's what people do. I, you know, I'm a person too. I do it. But uh, it's, a, it's a big reason. That's a big part of why I'm, you know, I've become pretty antisocial is because, you know, People notice when you're not normal, you know? People pick on you for not being like, I don't know, not, not having culture and uh, et cetera. Like, not, not listening to the, the latest rap songs and, and stuff like that. The rap artists and, and just keeping up with all the new electronic, uh, like, uh, tours and, and raves that you want to go to and, that, and you know like it's just too much for me man I don't have the resources <laughs> um, to, to spend on like stuff that's not going to serve me and my future and I think uh, I think that's what me focusing more on YouTube again is is kind of my step towards right like I have no idea what my life is going to look like in the next like few weeks <laughs> but it might not look great you know but I'm still going to try you know hopefully I can have access to internet and everything still over the coming weeks and you know, show you guys what's happening and, and keep you guys in the loop. But you know, who knows? I might get totally taken off off the net completely soon, and um, you know, you guys might not hear from me. You might hear from me sporadically. I mean, like you already have been. Let's be real. But yeah, it might become really difficult for me to be consistent due to my limitations with the internet and everything like that. Like, I don't own my own place to have internet, like reliable internet and everything. So, <sighs> right now, I have access to the internet and I can do this thing, these kinds of things and upload them and edit them and etc. But I may not be able to do that very for very much longer and then, and then I'm really screwed, you know, like, then I really outlet or way to express myself that you know I, I'm comfortable with that I want to, to do you know that because like I know a lot of people like writing journals and, and stuff but like I'm not much of a writer so it's really difficult like I have ADHD bro I, I can't sit down and write without a lot of external stimulation you know, a lot of discipline, right? So there's a lot of factors that contribute to why YouTube and maybe for right now vlog style content is probably, you know, a good way for me to express myself in a creative way that's, um, you know, satisfactory for me. Because, like, at the end of the day, if I'm not doing this, then at best, I'm at a nine to five working for other people and, and creating value for other people and then getting a small portion back, you know, a very small sliver back of what, of the productivity that you're actually providing, you know, whatever you want to, we can get into that, but uh, we don't need to. Um, 